people that I've talked to is, you know, clean up your own backyard is what I've always heard. And that means get involved in your local politics, know who your local commissioners are, you know, get involved in that way. Have them on speed dial, call them every day. I mean, that's something that you can do, um, push them. And I know a lot of people kind of poop on Twitter, um, talking about being a Twitter war, but I'll tell you, um, a lot of these representatives, they like to be popular. They look back at some of the comments, um, and I like to support um, the ones that I feel like are, are doing a good job or even how the ones I feel like aren't. Um, it is a very powerful platform where we do have um, more of a reach to our representatives to, for, to be able to be heard. I've, um, you know, I, I put all of, um, well, many of the Republicans I have on notification where I get their tweets right away. And I've had several of them reply to me. Um, I've had Matt Gates jump into his space a couple of months back when I had shared this space with him um, just because it was on a topic about J sixers and I wanted him to hear, he didn't stay very long, but he did pop in. Um, and Chip Roy replied back on when Biden, uh, was trying to put us up under the who for the pandemic response. I tweeted and I was like, what are you going to do about this? And he said that he's got legislation in process, um, you know, that he was fighting for it. So it's a, it's a big platform. It is. And, you know, I think everybody wants to have followers and wants to be liked. So, so that I think they do look back at stuff like that. Uh, um, no, that I, oh, go ahead, Rusty. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. That being said, um, I, I also like, I, I don't know if this may sound hokey or, or whatever, but I remember um, I'm almost 50. And I remember back when I was younger, um, when funeral processions would go by or I remember, um, you know, we were still having some of the military come back from Vietnam um, and they would have funeral processions. People would stop and get out of their car and hold their hand over their heart as they were going by. And I remember even seeing that during um, 9-11 when that happened, when 9-11 that day, um, when all that was going on. I like kind of organic movements like that, um, that can show solidarity. But I mean, I kind of agree too. the best way to get back at these people is, is through money. So I'd like to, for people to give some thought on that and, and you know what I'm saying? How we can really kind of affect more change that way. But I really appreciate everything you guys are saying and you're, you know, you're definitely on the right track. So thank you very much. Well, well, thank you, Rusty. And, and we are, listen, you guys, I'm, I'm so, I'm a, I'm a little frustrated because like I was expecting to be able that we could start minting the garbage fail NFTs, but like the getting the contract set up, we're doing it on the Polygon blockchain. If you guys don't, it, right? It's a learning experience, and it's just been. I was told it would be done like five days ago, and it's, here we are, like again, not doing it. But we are so excited with what we're building at American Mission, like uh, the people that we've been able to get together, uh, who are fighting, who are organizing. And that the, the spaces have like spurred that. And like, I just want to say, like, we were so down and out, like, so demoralized. Like, it, 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 it's funny because, like, it's a feeling that's hard to, like, even recreate or remember because it was just so bad. But, like, smoked off social media, smoked off banking, no hope of ever getting a normal job where they, like, do a simple Google search on you ever again. And I was like, man, like, this really, really sucks. And then you know what happened? Like a, a, a friend of ours uh, called or messaged, I can't remember. I think she texted us. Um, and she said, you know what? I'm doing a Twitter space. Uh, you guys should come speak. And uh, we joined Millie Weaver's like Twitter space that night. And we were like, holy crap. Like we, we have a place we can organize again. Like a uh, uh, we, place we don't have to feel lonely again. Like we just dive, dove in. And like a bunch of us like started doing these on the regular, they started getting a little bigger and a little bigger. And then we started to like think like, okay, the number one question we get from buddy, everybody is like, well, what can we do about it? Like we're digging into all this, like the Twitter files and CISA and the globalist stuff with Maze and all, right. All of these people who are brilliant and, and the doctors, all of it, right. All of the different problems we're talking about. And the question over and over, well, what can we do about it? 
So like we just got together and like put our heads down and said, you know what, we're going to try to come up with something that we can do about it. And like, I, I think this start, what we're doing with the uh, garbage fail journalists and creating our Andrew Breitbart files by crowdsourcing like all the opposition research in a way that's fun and creative. I really hope you guys will sign on to it. Uh, follow the American Mission account. Uh, it's up in the title. And then look Sunday for the seating event. It's going to be freaking awesome. Like we re- we spent, our team has probably spent more than 100 hours like on the artwork, on the NFTs, on the bracket structure, on how we're going to roll out, on the PR and media. Like we've, we've gone all in. It's our first big test like as an organization. And I hope you guys will help make sure it's a success. I also, like uh, I, I, I try to avoid it because I know he just listens, right? He likes to listen while he's working and he's always working. But if you guys ever need to know like what one person can do, like can come from nowhere and change things in a way that's tangible, Scott Pressler um, came from nowhere and has probably registered more Republicans than than the Republican parties in like almost every state. And uh, as as he's always saying, uh, I've heard I've probably heard him say like live, uh, "Are you registered at your Are you registered to vote at your current event?" or current address, like over and over and over again. And he, he just puts the work in all the time. What he's doing to like train us up so that we fight on the battlefield that we're on is completely worthwhile. And Scott, I know I, I, I know you just like to listen, um, but you know we're talking about things people can do. I wanted to shout you out and know that you're appreciated by all of us. So, all right, with that, um, I want, and this is a perfect segue, perfect segue, because uh, the next person I'm going to call on also like did something pretty freaking incredible right so like misty um you decided that you were going to go to your i believe it was county commissioners meeting you were going to give a speech and you were going to like outline some of the things you saw and you 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 planned out your three minutes and you went and did it how did you feel after you did that and what did you talk about um that was my city council meeting and i started off with the fact that um we needed to remove katie hobbs as the impart impersonating um unelected official governor um from office immediately and then i shared part of the story um of jalice and um, Mark Middleton, who were with bowed heads in front of the Capitol, in front of the barriers, beaten from behind. Um, and I will finish that speech um, where they are now facing 30 to 40 years for protecting themselves. Um, and during the scuffle, Jalice was actually hoisted into the air by an officer and another um, patriot had to go in. Um, grab her and pull yank her down to safety to the ground otherwise she could have been beaten um, like um, Roseanne Boyle and um, Victoria White and so um, I've got some also great news I went to my first GOP meeting this Wednesday um, and I went to a second one last night and this morning I got a call to get an, and was given a ticket to Representative Paul G- um, Gosar's private dinner tomorrow night. Um, so I am going to be in a very intimate setting with him um, just by going attending two meetings, people. You don't know what will happen unless you start to speak and get involved. And I'm also now hands on with the um, GOP county um, um, service, the the GOP county meeting. And um, I've got some great news. I can't share everything because we've got to keep some things in secret, but um, you can guarantee it's it's gonna have some J6 stuff in there. And I've got, uh, when I'm allowed to, I'll share more. But right now, we've got a lot of things going on for the um, Bullhead um, GOP um, County, and uh, it's going to be held in Laughlin at the Riverside um, 
hotel and I'm selling tickets if anybody wants them. It's $75, but there's going to be some amazing speakers. Five guaranteed um, committed reps are going to be there. And then there's a possibility of some others. And I do have a special speaker coming um, who's involved in quite a bit of stuff that you guys might know as well, but I can't talk about. So um, just, uh, you know. It's there's there's things happening and I barely even spoke it. I just held the the meeting was being held. Um, they asked for some volunteers. I volunteered. I'm going to start working Mondays in their office and I'm going to get the registration and um, the polls right. And I'm going to be working on that. And um, people are saying they get bored when they sit there. So I'm going to give them ways to contact other representatives and I'm going to put them on missions to do what they need to do to get more legislation through that is more constitutional. And um, and we're going to stop the bias of conservative thinking. And um, yeah, that's what I'm working on. And so um, this all happened with in less than 72 hours and that's just by and they didn't even know i went to city council and spoke <laughs> one couple did and they weren't at the meeting and and just by going to this meeting sitting and volunteering you know and and so um it, it, it there's a lot of people working in the background and we can do amazing things just by getting out and going and getting involved and the worst they can say is no. And then you find the people who will say yes. And you just kind of linger behind and you figure out who will say yes. And that's all you got to do is hang out, chill out, listen. And, you know, it all kind of started with, oh, did you guys hear the Trump and um, Gulag Prisoner song? Oh, yes, we're going to play that as our anthem for our dinner. Awesome. So I can tell you that 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 song is going to be the way they open it as a national anthem. So um, for this dinner. And so there's there's a I'm just so excited. I, I just wanted to come up and share to hope fully motivate other people to come up and um, start um, engaging in their communities. And you can truly make a difference. And another thing um, I'm doing is. I was at the city council meeting and they kept talking about this animal shelter that they're going to take a couple years to build. And then somebody asked about the vets. And so I'm like, why not make the kennels look like a bedroom at a cot and put on a, you know, privacy door, let them do the overnights and the weekend. So these places can be open 24 seven, save more animals and save the souls of the vets because they can both help each other with the PTSD that they're suffering from. And um, it gives them a different avenue than in a different kind of less pressurized work that we might be able to get them to be coaxed off the streets and knowing that hygiene will having a higher standard of hygiene will help keep the animals healthy. What? They will improve their lives. So I'm, I'm going to do a national platform on that as well, Make because sense. there's an animal shelter in every city and every county of every state. I, I, I love your passion, Missy. And I just want to tell you, we're so proud of you. And you guys, this, this, this is the thing. If you, the first step is always the hardest and what, but once you take it, like the path will find you. Like you, you will find stuff to do. You will make connections. You will find fights and battles and tangible things that you can do to make a difference if you take that first step. And Misty, I just want to say how incredible. Like we we we've, we've known Misty for a couple months now. Like since we started doing the Twitter Spaces, and she talked about like you know how how she was nervous about going in and she was going to go and lay it down at the city council meeting and she was going to give it to him but she wanted to make sure that she got all her points across and they only gave her three minutes and we talked it through with her i i just i'm so proud to hear your journey i'm so appreciative for you to share it with us and happy saint patrick's day Miss um, thank you if i can just ask one more thing of you guys if we contact the palm beach sheriff um department and tell them to protect trump at all costs to uphold their 
oath to protect all their constituents and residents of their Palm Beach County, they can protect him from any agency arresting him. So if we all go and tweet to his um, sheriff department and we start doing that on a daily, every hour, every 10 minutes, whatever you want to do, telling them to protect Trump, we can stop this. This is something we can do and we don't have to it's a way to um, be um, mobilized and activating and protecting Trump from being arrested. So this is something we can do right now. I was just trying to type up and find the right words to say that. Um, but, you know, we got to get tweets to the county sheriff department and they have the authority and power to stop him from being arrested. And they should be part of his crew right now until that threat is gone so that's one way we can um become and um yep. no, protest together and well, protect him as well 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 thank you for another good call to action missy and uh please keep keeping us updated on your journey uh, I, uh paul gosar is a gem of a person i've i've found him over my like political career to be one of the most accessible and knowledgeable members of congress i can count on my fingers the number of guys that like i actually found to be useful and helpful when i actually wanted to get stuff done and he's always been one of them so i know i know you're in good hands there and i just love the story uh elitist get in here what's up man oh thank you dustin jennifer this is so wonderful i actually got to hear phenom giggle that's a huge bonus and then uh i've lived in austin 40 years uh, Millie is gone, but you need to know she is one tough cookie. I mean, seven, eight years ago, she was doing Alex Jones or whatever. She would go to the Capitol with her microphone and get right into the center of it. That is one tough cookie. She is on fire. Um, happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, just to maybe soften it up a bit. Think about Jerry Garcia. Busted down in New Orleans. Set by a rolling pin. Knocked down. Knocked down the against the wearing pin. They just won't let you if be. He, you oh, no. Exactly. So, you know, the other thing I wanted to tell you all is go to Google Maps and uh, type in uh, the New York State, New York County Supreme Court. And then back out your satellite and just imagine Trump with like five limos coming across the Brooklyn Bridge, right? And then he takes a, he comes down and he takes, what is the name of that street? Center Street. And he takes a ride on Pearl and he goes to Columbus Park and he gives a speech. And there's all these people around. And then you just imagine Trump, that picture of him when he was walking towards the church that the left has tried a lot on fire, you know, and he's walking down and there's like 10 guys in black overcoats and red ties. And you just see Trump walking into court. Honestly, they're in New York. They're in New York City. Who the hell are they kidding? He could make a TV show out of this whole thing. And their Better Call Saul act is just not going to fly. He's just got too much snap. And so don't be afraid about I mean, honestly, Misty is so awesome. Your energy is so on fire. I do believe we should call the Palm Beach Sheriff's Department. I mean, I'm down with all of your energy. There's, It's so positive. I think it's infecting everyone. But just know that DJT is no dummy. This trial would be on the rock of Manhattan. He's coming across the bridge. He's going to walk across the street with the big red tie. He's going to walk in there, and he's just going to – it's going to be embarrassing for them. And as he would say, bigly, I wish I wish our uh, Trump voice that was always.